I'm Martha Maurer from the KTAR News Center. Arizona's stay-at-home order has now been extended until May 15th. That announcement from Arizona Governor Doug Ducey this week urging Arizonans to stay home as much as possible to continue to help stop the spread of the coronavirus. Now, Arizonans already had a stay-at-home order that was going to run through April 30th. The governor choosing to extend this order and adding some new modifications as he says we will begin again slowly to reopen Arizona for business. One of those modifications is that starting on Monday, May 4th, some small retail businesses will be able to open their doors. Small retail that had previously been deemed non-essential and had forced to close. It's going to be voluntary and there's also there are also going to be some restrictions. For example, these retail services will only be able, retail businesses will only be able to sell goods, not services. So anything that can be done through delivery, window pickup, walk up, drive through, curbside. As an example, a hair salon that is selling product may be able to open their doors just to sell the product, but no services as of yet. Then on May 8th, the governor has mentioned that the, the there will be an expansion for some more retail to be able to allow some customers inside their doors, but with very much enhanced social distance protocol and safety protocols. Any that will be able to still conduct business while adhering to the social distancing guidelines and sanitation measures. Now, the governor did not give clear specifics on what those businesses are, who can do that, but did offer that there will be more information coming in the near future. One big question that a lot of people have is when are restaurants and bars going to reopen? The governor did say he is working with the industry to understand the best way to continue for restaurants to open, but he did set an aspirational date is what he called it, what he perhaps hopes can happen of May 12th to allow some restaurants to welcome guests for dine-in. However, he did mention again that is an aspirational date and that it's going to perhaps look a little bit different once people do start going to restaurants. There will be enhanced safety measures, perhaps a fewer people able to, to be served at a time. Now, the governor during the press conference this week did say that he has been listening to industry leaders from different sectors, but most importantly to public health officials as to what needs to happen before he allows more businesses to reopen. He did mention that there is no talk of bars at the moment to reopen, gyms, not yet, but he did say that he is listening to public health officials. Well, KTAR did speak to a public health official this week, Dr. Kara Christ. She is the director of the Arizona Department of Health Services and wanted to know what would be the recommendation, what would have to happen in order for the state health department to recommend to the governor, yes, you can go ahead and reopen larger businesses and more sectors of the economy for business. And this is what she had to say. So I'm hoping we'll still see the downward trajectory on ED visits and inpatient visits in our syndromic surveillance for COVID-like and influenza-like illness. Um, we would want to see that we were staying steady or decreasing on our labs that come back positive, but we're also going to want to see an increase in tests. Dr. Chris tells us she hopes that with more testing, there will be more firm data that can be used to recommend or not recommend the governor to reopen more businesses. Over the, the middle of May, the Arizona Department of Health Services is launching a testing blitz on the first three Saturdays of May to try to test from 10 to 20,000 Arizonans for coronavirus. There is information on our website as well as the Department of Health's website as to where you can try to go to get tested. But their hope is that with more testing available, the hope is that the percentage of those coming back positive will be small and that data will be able to help the governor make the decision as to what is next in order to reopen Arizona. Of course, the very latest information on coronavirus in our state is right here on KTAR News. You can tune in to 92.3 FM, the KTAR app, download it if you don't have it yet. Be up to date with the latest breaking news stories and press conferences, both on the state and federal level. And of course, these and many more stories on coronavirus, you can find them at KTAR.com. I'm Martha Maurer from the KTAR News Center.
Stay up to date on the latest breaking news on coronavirus in Arizona. Download the KTAR News app now.